everyone, it's April here and I'm back with another video. Today it's a prompt madness video and the app chose for me ghosts as the theme and uh, watercolours with black ink which I thought was a pretty awesome combo. And I'm using this watercolour palette which I've been using for the last couple of days in my sketchbook. So just going ahead with whatever colours they were. And the Moleskine sketchbook art plus I think it's called is uh, what I'm going to be painting in. It's not the best sketchbook for watercolour but we do our best and it turns out pretty colourful. Uh, I think it's pretty fun at the end. And if you guys haven't seen these prompt madness videos before it's a little app or a kind of a website page that I have where it's got a whole bunch of different um, ob objects to draw and different combinations of art materials. So when I don't really know what to draw I just kind of like press a button and it tells me what to do which is great. And I thought it would be a really nice video to get me back into YouTube because I've had a couple of weeks that I haven't posted and I've actually had about five to six weeks that I haven't even drawn anything. So some of you guys may know that I went to South Africa for three weeks and I posted some videos while I was there that I had made beforehand but then I got back and I've been too tired um, to do it. And you may be thinking, why are you so tired April? You just had like a three week holiday. Well, I got back on the Friday from my holiday and um, I started a new job on Monday. And I've actually been unemployed for about two months. I got made redundant from my last job, um, which was a 3D artist. So I did lots of 3D animation stuff. Um, I got made redundant for that. So I was looking for a job for a couple of, for a month and then I got one. And then the rest of the time I just thought I'd relax. So I uh, tell you what, going back to work and working a full day has been a pretty tough but anyway, uh, well, it looks like we're moving on to the second page here. So on the first page, there's some blobby bits. On the second page, I'm using the uh, masking fluid stuff here that you see me shaking. So I decided to do one page with kind of like some little ghosty objects and the next page to do it with um, masking fluid and then kind of like negative space. I haven't used this masking fluid for about a year. So um, I was really worried it wasn't going to work and it was going to like tear the page up. But it turns out okay in the end. And then I combined that with the smaller towel pen just to get some little dotty bits in the background. The masking fluid is great for big objects but I was using this like super old brush and it got some nice like texture stuff but it's not very good for just doing tiny little dots. So like I was saying I started a new job. Um, it's really nice people, the company seems great, the work is um, pretty pretty good so far. The only problem is I have a really long commute which is like two and a half hours in the morning and about two hours in the evening so I have been getting used to that. My body is not used to waking up early and I'm definitely not used to commuting. The trains in England are horrendous and they always seem to be late, delayed, cancelled. So just getting used to that. Hopefully in a couple of months we can sort out a solution, maybe move to a better like train line or maybe get a second car. But until then I'm just making do with commuting. If you follow me on Instagram I've been putting on my stories that I've been trying to draw on the train in the morning but unfortunately I'm not awake in the morning to draw so it hasn't been working out very well. And the combination of kind of like being tired and starting a new job and having like all that information overload and just being like a bit mentally drained in the evening um, has caused me to not draw at all like I mentioned. So what I've been trying to do the last couple of weeks is take it really easy and try and get back into it. And I've been doing a combination of different stuff which I'm hoping to share in uh, like another couple of weeks like my plan. But I've basically been getting back into the fundamentals of drawing as well as doing these crazy like watercolour experiments. Um, just like abstract watercolour making a mess. And it's been working out pretty well so far just kind of like a rest for my brain and just to make some art that's super easy and not have to really worry about what I'm going to draw. Someone's bouncing a ball outside. So it's been quite therapeutic, kind of like taking off this masking fluid is quite therapeutic to watch. It did come off in the end, I was so happy about that because I was right it was going to stick. So what I decided to do is grab some black pen, a sort of black ink. I actually completely forgot about the black ink until this point. So I decided to grab a black pen from my black pen glass that I have on my desk. I don't really do cartoony things, so I kind of did the old generic ghost shape that you see quite a lot um, 
other people do because as I said right now I'm feeling very unoriginal um, so I did that and it turned out really cute in the end I quite liked it so I did like a little line to begin with and then go over it again with some black ink just to kind of give it a little bit of you know zhuzh it up as you can tell my YouTube commentary is a bit rusty as well so please forgive me for that So yeah, this is just like a little intro back into art and uh, watercolour. So I've really been enjoying watercolour lately. I've been using this colour palette that you see here as well as a couple of other colours that I just picked up. And I've been following a class by Laura Horn. I'll leave it in the um, description below. She's really great. She does like mixed media and um, watercolour stuff. And I actually found her through another artist on Instagram. So I'm really happy that I found her and I'm following this course right now called Exploration into Watercolour or something like that and it's just like a bit of fun you just do like little swatches and mix paints up and make fun little patterns and then the other thing that I'm doing is I'm following um like a fundamentals course on SVS Learn and I don't know if you guys know of SVS Learn but it's the company run by Jake Parker, Will Terry and Lee White I'll leave that in the description below as well. It's like a subscription kind of course thingy. So you, you pay like 20, I think it's 24 pounds, $24 a month and you have like an entire library of videos. So I'm just starting right from the beginning, decided to really brush up on my fundamentals, like, you know, perspective and tone and line and all that stuff. And that with the combination of doing like some really loose watercolor stuff has actually been really good. So it's like kind of structured stuff and then playtime. And I may just keep doing that kind of stuff for the next month or so, just until I get used to like my new routine. Um, but I will have some different YouTube videos up. I've got lots of ideas for the next few weeks, including next week, which I'm very excited about because it's going to be a special video. So make sure you pop back for next week's one. I don't want to give away any surprises, but it's my birthday. And then, uh, yeah, I'm drawing on the screen right now, aren't I? So I'm drawing little ghosties on the other side. I debated whether to do an outline or just leave it like the, um, the, the negative space white part, but I thought I'd go over it in lines just because it was a bit messy. And I'm giving them all little cute ghosty faces. Uh, one thing that I did think that would be cool after I did this was if you did it like um, negative painting, so you could kind of have them overlapping each other and some of them a little bit like more transparent and some of them less transparent I thought that might be really fun to do in the future so I might try that again because drawing ghosts turns out to be um, quite fun so if you guys are ever bored one day and you don't know what to draw you can check out this on my website I'll leave it below it's monkeymintaka.com and you'll find um, like a, a bunch of prompts that you can follow along with so yeah let me know if you've checked that out and if you like it or not and that is all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I will be back next week for a special video. So I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye.